Hi, I'm Mike Graham with Light Snacks. Today, we're going to be taking a look at our photometrics documents and how to get the most out of what we post online. So let's go ahead, hop in, and take a look. So we're going to take a look at the Maverick Force 2 profile photometrics report. And we're just going to look at one file, so this is pretty straightforward. So you're going to see uh, a couple sections up here. So you have output. So you can see the total lumens at this particular beam angle. Uh, the peak intensity. So that's the brightest spot inside of the fixture. And then you can see the illuminance at five meters. Um, we always do five meters in pro. Uh, unless it's a beam fixture, then it's 15 meters. But it's pretty much always five meters. Uh, all of your optical information. Um, and then the conditions that we shot this fixture at. So you can see that we shot it at 120 volts. Then coming down here, your overall measurement, um, beam distribution, your beam angle is 48.1 degrees. And then you can see here um, spectral distribution, and you can see we have a little bit of a dip in um, between blue and green. Um, but on the CAE chart, you can see that at full output, we're pretty close to the black body curve, which is this radiator line that goes along here. Coming down one page, um, this particular chart up here is really important. So in my opinion, it's the second most important thing on here coming in right behind what my lumens are um, on the first page. So typically, again, I like to live in this five meter box right here. So I can see what lux I am, but then when I come out here, I can see my cutoff, field, and beam angles which is all of the information I'm going to need for figuring out what my actual zoom range is. The way that we chart zoom range is we go from the beam angle out to cutoff because that is the maximum range of usable light. Um, down here, if you need to know some different distances of, of, uh, of lux, that's all calculated out for you. So it's very easy. So I know if I'm shooting from a front of house position, what am I actually going to get at my wide angle? Uh, dropping down another page, uh, you can see your candela plot. So this tells us um, how good our output is uh, if we're peaky um, and distribution and that kind of stuff. So I can see my beam angles, field angles, and cutoff angles again and understand how much light I have at any given point um, inside of the candela plot. And then for the ISO and isoluminance diagrams, this tells me how peaky my uh, fixture actually is. So I can tell from here how much um, output I have in the center and how that distributes to the outside. And kind of the same deal down here. Uh, this actually tells me that we have a really nice even output um, because your differentiation from beam to field is actually pretty small. For Light Snacks, I'm Mike Graham and thanks for watching.